Hi everyone. In today video, I will guide you through how we can resolve virtualize Intel is not supported on this platform error. This is a common issue faced by many of my students when they are trying to install EVNG on VMware Workstation or any other virtualization platform. So I will guide you through step by step process to fix this issue. So let's start. Let me go to here. So this is my EVNG when I try to power on this virtual machine. So it will show me this error. Virtualize Intel is not supported on this platform. Without this virtualization, even though none of your device will work, router, switches, firewall. So we need to fix this issue before we can proceed. So let me I say no. Okay. Now I need to fix this issue. For that, what I need to do, the first thing is open a CMD. Okay. Let me open a CMD and type here system info and hit enter. So let's find out. So at the end, you will see a hypervisor is being detected. Feature required for hyper V will not be display. Okay. So it will show you this error. Even though uh, if you don't want to run the CMD, you can directly type here system info and you can see the same graphically as well. It should be here at the end. You can see a hypervisor has been detected. We need to fix this issue so that we can proceed. Now it can be due to many reason. Let's try one by one. You need to type all these so that you can fix this issue. The first thing is open a CMD again. This is the first step. Run as an administrator. Make sure as an administrator click yes. And the first command which I will share you uh, in the comment section below. This is the command a B C D edit and then set hypervisor. Uh, then launch type off. You need to off this. The operation completes successfully. If it show you this message, it means you type the command correctly. Now it requires a restart. Anyway, I don't want to restart the system right now. Maybe it not be the reason. So you need to apply one by one and restart the system. But I will show you all together and then I will restart the system. This is the first thing. Second thing is you need to open a PowerShell. Let me open a PowerShell again as administrator. Make sure run as a administrator and yes. Now here I need to type this command. Okay. The command is let me copy from here, which I will share and type here. This is disable window option feature and then a line feature name is Microsoft Hyper V all and hit enter. Now some students say that this command doesn't work in my system and it uh, throw an error. Okay. So the second command, if this command uh, give you an error on your system, so you need to type this second command. Sorry. Let me copy the second command from here. Okay. So there is a slight difference. Okay. And maybe in such system, this one work and some system, this one work. So here I type Microsoft Hyper V all the feature name is this one here. I type the feature name is hypervisor and then platform and hit enter. Okay. So you need to type uh, these two command and it will ask you to restart the system. In my case, it doesn't ask me, but in your case, it will ask you to restart the system. So again, you need uh, need to restart the system. Two things. Next, what I need to do if you have a Windows 7. So go to your antivirus Windows security. If you have Windows 7, keep in mind. So not Windows 7. Sorry, if you have Windows 11. So by mistake, I say Windows 7, Windows 11. So what you need to do? Open Windows security and go to device security. Here is core isolation and core isolation detail and make sure to disable memory integration and click OK and click Yes. Again, it require a restart. I don't want to restart. As I say, for each feature, you need to restart your system. So this is the third, uh, third thing. Next thing, what I need to do, okay, I need to go to uh, this uh, group policy. You can type a group policy. Let me say, yeah, here is. 
so edit group policy click on the edit group policy let me maximize and here what you need to do you need to go to uh, computer configuration administrative template okay and then click on this system there may be system yeah and in the system there will be device guard so let's see yeah here is device guard make sure you are on the computer configuration okay and then administrative template then system then device guard and there is turn on virtualization based security so make sure it's disabled apply and click ok disable this one as well now after that what you need to do the next step is let's go to control panel let me go to control panel because i forgot the name of that thing so let's go to computer yeah here is program and feature click on the program and feature and then there is turn window feature on and off click on this one okay let me maximize this one uh, turn window feature on off let's go to let them show the detail then i will show you what you need to disable okay it's taking time yeah it's come up here you need to look for hyper v which is disable it should be disable okay which i use the uh, the command as well to disable them but you can do the same thing here so hyper v is disable let's go down there is another thing which you need to disable okay and that is virtual machine platform you can disable this one as well okay and window hypervisor platform is already disabled just look for these three things and i believe we are almost uh, done okay and click ok so let me click ok to apply this one so these are the four five steps you need to follow and after that when you go back and type this command again system info and let's see again it's showing us so what we need to do we need to restart our system so let's wait for this one and then i will restart the system and then we will check again okay so let's wait so we disable the uh, device guard we go to turn where uh, on virtualization security disable that one okay and then we apply to command and the powershell one command and the cmd and then we go to enable disable window feature turn on window feature on off and window 11 and we look for two three things uh, to disable them one of them was hyper v and other two things we uh, disable them and the most important uh, which is this uh, window security so what we done we come here and device security core isolation and core isolation detail make sure to disable memory integration as well keep in mind the first thing is make sure virtualization has been enabled from the bios this is the first step after that you need to do these things okay because i forgot to mention so that one is the first step okay let's see now it will take some time so let me stop this video for a while okay so let's go back let me okay it's done so let me close this one okay and let me close this one as well and let's restart the system so you you need to restart uh, the system or you can shut down and start again and after that when you check so hopefully this issue will be fixed so let's see now i restart the system because it will take some time to apply the feature so maybe when it restart it will show you that just wait for a while to apply the feature okay so let me make it quick so what i can do let me power on quickly okay and let me start again
otherwise it will take some time you know to apply the feature so let's see i restart the system now okay so let me log in and let's see this time okay so we are back and let me open vmware workstation okay and let's try again to install the same thing which was showing the error and also if i type cmd and type system info so let's see there shouldn't be the last yeah uh, it's okay it may show you but i hope so it will work this time so let's see if i power on this virtual machine and here is no error so let me stop this one it means there is no issue even though virtualization has been enabled if i go to here so virtualize until which is enable and it doesn't show me uh, the error again so these are the steps you need to follow to fix this issue okay thank you very much